Hello folks, it's Mike here from Blastsmiths UK. Um, I'm here to give you a, something of a, a history lesson and to introduce you to uh, our latest product. So you might recognize this in front of you. Uh, it's an old Alpha Trooper CS18, the old yellow version, the original Alpha Trooper. Um, and you might be asking why why is this here in, in, in 2015, you know, it's obsolete. Well, I thought the best way to introduce our new product really was to sort of work from the beginning of the Alpha Trooper series and, and to show you sort of the improvements and the changes that we've made uh, with with the product. So I've obviously I've unscrewed this so I'm going to take it to pieces okay and I'm going to show you what the catch plate looks like because obviously that's what you're here to see you're here to see catch plates. So here we have the old yellow Alpha Trooper open it up and you have an old Boo Hiss Yada yada yo, reverse plunger system. Okay, this one has obviously seen better days. It's been sitting in our office for a very long time now, uh, and is just generally, you know, out of the way so that we could, uh, you know, keep it for reference in case uh, we ever found a fix for the torsion door problem that plagued the old Alpha Troopers. Now, the key thing here to note is the catch plate design. It's obviously designed for the uh, old school um, plunger. Obviously, it sits there, caps there, sorry, all the way up to the light, caps there like so, and then like so, like so, perfectly fine. Which is, you know, okay for 2010 when it was reverse plunger city, and you know, we, 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 we as modders and as, as a group of people sort of, you know, put up with that fact. So fast forward to 2013, and we get the blue Elite Alpha Trooper released. I, uh, just for reference, it is. A complete shell. I've opened up. This is my personal one. Uh, I've opened it up just to show you. So obviously now we're we're talking direct plungers. We're talking 80, FP, 80 to 100 FPS with a five kilo upgrade spring. Same old flat slam fire action. But one of the key problems is obviously the price didn't change, and Hasbro obviously wanted to make a bit more money. And it shows throughout the the build quality of, of the blaster in general. And the key thing that we found when we opened it up and had a serious, long, hard look at the EAT after several blaster failures at Green Cloaks, was that we got the uh, we got the uh, the cap plates together. And we noticed actually there isn't all that much of a difference between the two of them. Uh, you, as you can see here on the left, you have the uh, the 2010 era catch plate with the uh, sort of chevro uh, bevel here for where the plunger um, passed through and cat caught on the other side. You have the wings for the where the uh, plunger tube sort of guide rails used to uh, sort of thing. And the only real change from A to B is the addition of this tiny little piece of black pla of plastic here. So what you end up with is is a catch plate that, as you can see, is very sort of flexible, very bendable, uh, and not entirely designed specifically for for the uh, for the situation at hand. And as a result, as many of you will have experienced misfires uh, and similar problems with the uh, Elite Alpha Trooper. Um, so. Most people chuck an extra spring in it and hope that the tension is sufficient to uh, to hold everything in place. But we thought, well, actually, no, we're, we're going to solve the problem. Uh, and so here we have our uh, improved catch plate. It's a 3D printed item. Um, and essentially, obviously, it takes its cues from the uh, original because the plunger system that uh, is present in the blaster is identical so you know we're not changing any of the components apart from the catch plate so we've taken away these wings because they're not needed by the current direct plunger system so that adds lots of extra plastic and stiffness to the uh, catch plate as a whole you've got this nice round deeper surface here to hold the uh, plunger tube in place and if I show you this catch plate in situ you'll see what I mean uh, so if we take this, okay, it's got an associated, this is a, a, an upgraded spring that we were playing with. The, the upgraded spring isn't necessary at all uh, in our research. The only reason it's on there is because this is my personal Alpha Trooper and I glued it down. Anybody who knows me knows I like gluing springs in place. Um, so as you can probably see, the R catch plate has a nice big area to sort of receive the plunger when it moves back and has a similar system, if I take the spring out a moment, so it has a similar system here 
we pull it back and it holds nice and big in place and then again here with the slam fire bar up and drop and away you go uh, so these are as I say available for purchase through the web store they will be four pound uh, on their own or eight pound if you buy one with a spring so you get a pound off your spring if you buy both the the, off the main spring this spring not this um, so you get a pound off your, your the cost of your spring if you buy them together the key thing to note is that it does take the, a replacement uh, catch plate spring uh, it does sorry it does take the stock uh, catch plate spring it is not necessary to upgrade to the catch plate spring in our research we've put these uh, with their stock uh, springs stock catch plate springs in probably half a dozen to a dozen blasters now across two different uh, systems of uh, and, and half a dozen events and we've come to the conclusion that an upgraded catch plate spring is not necessary but a catch plate is one that actually you know functions as an effective plate uh, out of the box rather than using hacked together 2010 technology uh, that isn't fit for purpose so as I say these will be on available on the website uh, very very shortly I'll pop a link down in the description and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, any questions drop us an email